So here we have the Mercedes-Benz C220 Automatic on an 09 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a four-door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors and plenty of boot space as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get four leather seats, as you can see. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard of this car, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge. We have the speedometer in the middle, and over on the right-hand side, the rev counter. Also in the middle, it will show you what gear this car is currently in. This is an automatic. We're in P for park at the moment. Above that, you can see the total miles for the car, which are 77,457. We back out to the steering wheel. We have uh, controls on the left-hand side here that will alter the information being displayed in that central section. So you can, for example, have a digital readout for the speedometer. And then over on the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls as well. Over in the center, we have the stereo itself, or the screen, I should say, and the stereo below it, where you can access things uh, like, for example, your telephone menu, your radio, uh, and you can use those buttons, or if you wish to, you can do everything via this dial just here and the buttons that are around it. So this will turn, it'll move up and down, it'll push down as well, and whatever uh, action you show it, uh, it will give you something different up on here. Uh, but essentially, you can go into your various menus from on here. So you'll see radio-wise, we have AM and FM radio, we have an auxiliary input and a CD player as well. The main volume for the stereo is in the center just here. We have a heated driver seat with three different heat settings and the same on the passenger side. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, you can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed within the car. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns the air conditioning off in this case, or back on again, or you can hit auto. And in doing so, the car will take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. You can override that whenever you wish to, and you see auto has now gone out. We have a section that opens up here to reveal a 12 volt charging socket and some storage for coins, for example. The gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox and then the buttons that I went through just a moment ago. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.